right, so we just got some huge news right now. That is right. And this is a big one. This is a big one. NX on Netflix tweets, rings, check. Sneakers, check. Speed, Sonic. Sega's legendary video game icon, Sonic the Hedgehog, races onto Netflix in a new three-dimensional, three-dimensional animated series from Sega, Wild Brain HQ, and Man of Action End premiering in 2022. So I know this is not dry ending because it's coming in two years, but nonetheless, a 3D animated series. All right, update. It seems like they took down the tweet. I don't know why they did that. Maybe because they announced it too early. I don't know. Like if it's coming in 2022, telling us now seems like a bit, you know, I don't know. I don't know why they took it down, but everyone's already seen it. It's not fake news, okay? I'm not just making a video about some Photoshop tweet. I saw the tweet live when it was up and people reported on it and now it's been taken out. So just bear that in mind. The tweet's been taken down, but I highly doubt that it was a fake tweet. The show is going to happen. Now, there's a few things we have to talk about because obviously we don't have any real information on the show except for the fact that it's happening. So we're going to have to do some discussion on what could happen with this show. Now I have three like questions slash concerns. We'll get the small ones out of the way first. The first one is, what kind of designs are they going to use? I mean, I guess they use the modern Sonic design in the tweet, but are they going to go with like a movie Sonic design? Like, because we know the Sonic movie sequel is coming out in 2022, and they might be trying to do some alignment shit where they have like a movie-related TV show with that design, or they could just be going with standard modern Sonic, or they could be going with classic Sonic because, <laughs> you know, but let's hope it's not that. Second of all, who's going to be voicing the characters? Are they going to get the movie voice actor like, you know, Ben Schwartz or are they going to stick with Roger? Which kind of ties into the third point, which is the tone of this. Because we've had serious Sonic TV, which is like Sonic X. We've had more comedic, which is like Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, boom. We've had 3D, like, again, boom. But we've never had 3D serious. We've never had a 3D animated Sonic TV show that was actually more on the serious side of things. I mean, we haven't had really much that's on the serious side of things, Sonic related, and like, since the colors era, really, like, <laughs> since the shit went lighthearted and the whisk came in and it was all colorful rainbows. But the point is, what is the tone of this thing gonna be like? Because personally, I'm hoping for something more serious. So as a result, I decided to delve into these people who are working on it to see what their track record is to see if we have a good shot or something decent. Now, I know that Sega are not going to just hoe out their IP to anyone, right? They're going to hoe out their IP to people that make good shit because obviously they're struggling to make good shit. Sonic Team ain't making great games right now. So if they give the IP to people that know how to make good shit, then Sonic will be attached to good shit. So I'm assuming these companies are pretty decent. Looking at Wild Brain, it seems like they worked on a bunch of things, but nothing that I've actually properly watched. I mean, I guess they worked on the Johnny test reboot is that it says 2021 so it's not the original johnny test clearly i watched the original johnny test i think i think there was a reboot that already came out i watched one episode of that but all these other shows here like dr dimension pan all these things i haven't watched any of these so you guys in the comments can tell me like if you watch any of these shows and if they appear to be something that seems more serious something that would fit what we are hoping for what i'm hoping for which is a more serious show and not a comedic one and man of action entertainment and they've worked on quite a few things. They worked on a Mega Man TV show, Bakugan, Big Hero 6, Ultimate Spider Man. That sounds good. I haven't watched Ultimate Spider Man, but it sounds good. They worked on the Avengers TV show and they worked on Ben 10. I mean, Ben 10 was kind of serious. I mean, he had his comedic moments. I mean, Ben 10 was good. Like, the watch and everything. Come on. Like, it's that kind of show that has the mix of the lightheartedness and the serious stuff. Like, he's fighting crime, but he's also got comedic moments. Like, that's kind of what we want, right? The balance. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. So it seems like kind of 50 50 right now. Looking at these shows, like from these companies, they've worked on some lighthearted stuff, they worked on some serious stuff i really don't know which direction they're going to go in i don't know when we are going to be actually getting more info on these shows like i mean if it's coming in 2022 they might it might be late 2022 because if the movie's coming in april they might not want to overshadow the movie so they might drop the movie first ride that hype wave from from like may june whatever july and then later on in 2022 then give us the actual info on this show you know then build that one up and give us like a trailer and a name reveal and then eventually we'll be able to see what the tone of the show is going to be like but personally 
personally, the kind of show I'm looking for, just to summarize it, it's like Sonic X, but like in 3D, like something more serious, mixed in with like Unleashed intro, like 06 intro, like that kind of CGI. I don't know the level of detail that the CGI is going to be, because it's a TV show. I don't know how far they're going to go. I don't think every episode is going to be Unleashed intro, because, I mean, that's just going to be insane. Like, of course, I'd love to see that, right? Like a Pixar TV show, but it's not going to be that. It's going to be a bit lower budget. Hopefully not like the Garfield show low budget, but like, <laughs> you know, reasonable, you know what I mean? Like, it, sh it should feel like, I guess, some a bit more detailed than the Boom cartoon. The Boom cartoon was a bit, in terms of like, the visuals, not the greatest, but because it was a comedic show, I guess it did the trick. But I just hope they're able to get like, the tone of Sonic right, and get the writing right, because I don't want another comedic fest, all right? We've, we've had enough of those. I don't hate comedic shows. I like the Sonic Boom TV show. One of my favorite Sonic TV shows is Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, I really fuck with that show. But I also fucked with Sat AM because it was more serious. We need the balance in the franchise of the lighthearted shit and the serious shit. And right now, we're lacking on the serious shit, you know? I guess Forces tried to be serious, but failed. So we're not going to use that as an example, clearly. But I'm just saying that this show has the potential to be really important for, you know, Sonic in the 2020s, you know, like keeping his legacy in a good position. Like right now, you know, he's got the movie, but he needs to, you know, do something new because you can't just keep riding on the coattails of the movie for three years like they did with Mania because eventually people are going to go, what's next? You know, I, I guess they got a sequel, so they got something next. But you know, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they need to keep moving forward and this is a step in the right direction now we're not going to get into the topic of the fact that they can't seem to make the right games so they're just doing more media stuff because you know that's a topic for another day but it is nice to see a 3d animated show let's just hope they go down the right path and they don't make it like some classic light-hearted wispy corny shit okay give us some real shit Shit that we can actually watch if we're over the age of 10 and not cringe, and I'll be all for this. I mean, it's on Netflix, I already have a Netflix subscription, so you already know I'm gonna be watching it day one, the moment it drops. Maybe I'll give like episodic reviews, you know, when it comes out. I, I don't know, if, if I'm still making videos at that point, then I, I guess why not? If people wanna see that, and you know, let me know, I guess. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited for this Sonic TV show? And do you know these two companies working on the show? Have you watched their shows that they've already made? And do you think they'll be doing a good job? Do you want something more serious? Or do you want something more lighthearted? What kind of voice actors would you want for this show? Like, just let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Subscribe to the non the channel, link in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out.